We have different ways on writing an equation of a line. The first form that we learned from algebra is the slope-intercept form given by y equal to mx plus b, where m is our given slope and b is the given y-intercept. We can also write an equation of a line using the general or the standard form. Now, the general and the standard form is where all your variables and your constant is located on the other side of the equation equal to zero. So this is another form of a linear equation. And for today, we're going to concentrate on point slope form given by the formula y minus y sub 1 equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Now x sub 1 and y sub 1 is the given point in that particular line and m is the slope. Now how are we going to use the point slope form in writing the equation of a line? Here's some examples. Now on the first example, we are going to write the equation of a line given the slope of negative 3 and passing through the point negative 1 and 7. Now in this particular problem, it's easy to use the point slope form because you are given a point and you are given the slope. So from the title itself, we'll be able to easily use the point slope form to write the equation of a line. So if m is negative 3 and point is negative 1 and 7, all we need to do is to use the formula of the point slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equal to m times x minus x sub 1. And in this case, there's two y's and two x that you're seeing in your formula. Now what you will change is your y sub 1 and x sub 1, and you will leave your y and x as the original formula. So to plug in the values of the um, slope and the point to the point slope form, y sub 1 is 7, x sub 1 is negative 1, and m is negative 3. And by using the formula, now we can write the equation of a line by y minus 7 equal to negative 3 times x minus negative 1. And further simplifying your formula, you'll have the point slope form of your equation of a line, which is y minus 7 equal to negative 3 times x plus 1. And this is how you use the point slope form formula to find or to write the equation of a line. Now, from the point slope form, you can convert this particular form of the equation of a line into the slope intercept form. And to do that, all we need to do is to distribute negative 3 to the parentheses and have y by itself. So, negative 3 times x plus 1 will give us negative 3x minus 3, leaving us with y minus 7 equal to this expression. Now, to get rid of negative 7, add 7 on both sides so we can change it into the slope intercept form of the line, which is y equal to negative 3x plus 4, where slope is negative 3 and the y-intercept is equal to 4. And this is how we use the point slope form in writing the equation of a line given a point and given a slope. Now for example number 2, we need to write the equation of a line, but this time we are only given two points. So if this is the case, what we need to do is to find our slope using the formula and finding the slope given two points. So if I have point 1 and point 2 using the formula of the slope of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, by labeling my x's and my y's, my first point will be x1 and y1, and my second point will be x2 and y2. And by direct substitution, our m is now negative 5 minus 3, which is your y, all over the change of x, which is negative 2 minus 3. And by simplifying your fraction, you'll have negative 8 all over negative 4, which is simply equal to 2. So now that you have your slope, now you need to use the point slope form to write the equation of a line. Now, when you use y minus y sub 1 equal to m times x minus x sub 1, which is your point slope form, you are only needing one point on the two points that is given in the problem. So in this case, you can either use 2, 3 or negative 2, negative 5 in your equation and you will still get the same result. So it doesn't matter which point you choose, you will still have the same result when you convert it into the slope-intercept form. So in this particular example, I used 
2, 3 as my given point, so I will replace it to my y1 and x sub 1 right here. So I have y minus 3 time equal to 2, which is my slope, times x minus 2. So now I have my point slope form of the equation of a line. And if I need to convert it into the slope intercept form, just like what I did on the previous example, I'll have y minus 3 equal to 2 times x minus 2, which is changed to 2x minus 4. Add 3 on both sides. So I'll have my point slope form of the equation of a line given by y equal to 2x minus 1, where 2 is my slope and negative 1 is my y-intercept. And that is how we use the point-slope form in writing the equation of a line given a point and a slope or given two points.